Hey guys, this is Cheryl with Magical Melody, and I am here with my week 11, 12, and 13 week update, as well as my three month update because my surgery was January 5th, and my three month surgery anniversary was March 5th, which was Wednesday. Um, I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy or VSG surgery at Tenova Healthcare with Dr. William Steely on January 5th, 2017. My highest weight ever was 250.4. Day of surgery, I was 241.4. Um, week 11, I was... 202.3 and the last time that I came in I was 207.3 so week 11 I got a whole loss of five pounds um, last week week 12 I only got a one pound loss coming in at 201.6 which actually it wasn't a whole pound it was like eight ounces um, then this week um, I did not get a chance to wait in yesterday morning because I had an appointment and I literally just like ran out the door. Every Thursday is my weigh in day. So I didn't get to weigh in yesterday, but I weighed in this morning and I currently am 203.2. Um, Sunday evening, I weighed, sometimes I weigh in midweek just to see where I'm at. And so Sunday I weighed in and I was 200.8. Um, a couple of things that I feel like happened this week. Well, for one thing, over today and yesterday, I have been extremely constipated. Um, I don't usually get this constipated. I'm usually able to keep it together with fiber um, and everything like that and occasionally Miralax. I really don't like to take the Miralax every day But if it continues to be this bad, I think I'm gonna have to because um, so far today I have taken a total of two scoops or two capfuls of Miralax in, in two different um, drinks and I've already done my second serving of fiber today and I still have not gone and I am just so bound up so I feel like that um, that is the reason for going from um, 200.8 all the way back up to 203 because I'm just so constipated I'm so bound up and everything like that and is I feel kind of bloated um, and everything like that so I feel like that that's part of the reason why I'm, I'm having such a hard time also um, last month when I went to GNC to you know purchase my monthly uh, gene pro they only had one bag of it and so in place of that I got this stuff um, it says GNC Amp Amplified Waybalic Extreme 60 Original. And then it goes on to say 60 grams we isolate and hydrolysis to support muscle recovery and growth. Okay, um, I usually try to stay away from protein isolate. Um, before when I lost a lot of weight, the last time I lost a lot of weight was 2011 and back then as soon as I would um, <clears throat> add more protein, the weight would just start falling off. Well, one time I was at GNC and I got this protein isolate and um, what I have protein isolate does is it just it digests a lot slower it's a slow digesting thing 
Well, um, that year, it really messed me up. Like, I had, like, two or three weeks where I just wasn't losing any weight at all because of, of something in the protein isolate. I think because, for me, um, because it's slow digesting, it, it causes me to not be able to process everything and my body can't get rid of it as easily, and so it's, it stays. Well, it just, that year, it just really screwed me up really, really bad. And so I had to, like, stop taking it. Um... And, and move back to the regular uh, whey protein that I was using um, from GNC. GNC does have great products. I buy a lot of my stuff from there. You get the Gene Pro from there. Um, I also found out that Bariatric Pal sells Gene Pro. So I'm not always over where we have the GNC here. So I might switch to buying it there. Because like I said, GNC was out of stock of it. Like last month I can only get one bag. So I've been doing strictly this along with foods that you can get high protein from and everything like that. For one thing, um, it has a chart on the back of here that says, it gives you like a whole rundown, like one scoop of this is supposed to be 20 grams of protein, two scoops is 40 grams, and three scoops is 60 grams. The thing is, I can only use one scoop of this at a time because even though they say it's unflavored, um, it says right there on the front of the bottle. Yeah, it says unflavored though. This has a taste. It has a very noticeable chalky taste. So I can't add any more than one scoop of it or I'm going to be able to taste it. Um, and it's really gross. Let me just tell you. It's, it's, it's like top notch gross. So um, yeah. So I feel like with it, I'm not getting as much protein as I would with the Gene Pro. I mean, Gene Pro is like 30 grams of medical grade protein um, and everything like that. I mean, it's really good stuff. So, um, the other thing that I did want to try was Nectar. Nectar has a uh, unflavored protein that I'd like to try that at some point too to see how that is um, and everything like that. So, excuse me, a minute, my mouth is kind of dry. And I keep licking my lips. But anyway, yeah. Um, everything has been going good. My husband just had his surgery on Tuesday. Um, he's doing really well. He got out of the hospital Wednesday afternoon. Um, and everything like that. And that's, I'm thinking that's probably how I got so bound up. Because um, I spent most of Tuesday and most of Wednesday there with the hospital with him. And I wasn't really home keeping track of everything. And you know, maintaining everything like I normally do, um, and everything like that. So that's probably why I think that, that I had such a hard time, um, with that. And now I'm, now I'm, I'm really bound up. So I don't consider my weight at 203.2 .2 right now to be an accurate weight. And I don't consider it a regain. Um, uh, because like I said before, I'm just so bloated and everything from being so constipated. Um, so I think what I'm going to do for the rest of today, um, is maybe stay with, stay with liquids, um, and everything like that to try and see if I can get my body to get rid of all this, um, and everything like that because I feel really, really miserable, um, right now. Uh, but yeah, um, <clears throat> every, everything's going fine and I do apologize for not coming in here with the regular weekly updates like I normally do because I have been super, 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 super busy. Um, um, for one thing with my husband's surgery and for two, I have been working my behind off on trying to uh, rearrange my home studio and everything like that. And I've been working my behind off on it for like the last couple of weeks I still have a whole ton of boxes to get rid of in here um, I still have some other things that I need to set up in here and I have just been so busy and I'm also kind of doing a spring cleaning slash um, super clean my house because um, we're going to be exterminated in a couple of weeks and so there's a lot of things that 
I just gotta like bag up and get out of here and stuff like that for when the bug man comes and I don't really want to go into too much detail with that but it's just it's not good okay so I got to do that and then um, I've really been thinking I was gonna head to Arkansas next month in May to do some music videos but um, over the past couple of days I've been looking at my finances and looking at my current situation and I'm thinking that I may actually postpone that trip in another few months to give myself a chance to pay off some debt and stuff like that things just ain't getting paid off enough like it's not getting paid down fast enough and um, I just got way too much going on right now so I may I may wait um, just some random thoughts that are you know kind of hanging out in my head I did go yesterday to my psychologist for my three-month follow-up he said he wanted to see me three months after my surgery so I did that um, and, I, and I told him some of the things that I've been experiencing and one thing is that well because of the domestic abuse that I experienced in the past every now and then I still get nightmares from it and um, I'm just yeah, there's there's some aspects about it that still kind of bother me. I mean, I'm pretty much over it, but like, y you know, it, it, it was rough. Um, and so I don't want it to become an issue with my weight loss. And so I think that going to see somebody to talk to them and help me work through some of that would be a good idea. Plus also, um, it's very stressful here with especially my older daughter um, because not only does she have a mental illness, but she's also autistic, and my youngest daughter is also autistic. So, life as a mom here is not normal for me. Well, I guess it's my normal, <laughs> but, I mean, it's, it's, it's extremely stressful, and I tend to be an emotional eater and a stress eater, and again, um, I, I don't want it to cause me a problem with my weight loss, so I think, again, that it's just going to be a good idea for me to go in to have somebody to talk to and to work out all my feelings and all my stresses and things like that. Because for me, when I got the surgery, I felt like, well, you know, this is like a last chance for me to get my life back and for me to get healthy and to lose all this weight. Um, which leads me to another thing. I got tagged in Nirvana's tag on where would you be without VSG and I wasn't tagged by Nirvana but I got tagged by Made Up Mama and so I wanted to address that really quick um, where would I be without the VSG surgery um, you know I probably would still be overweight like I was um, I was 250.4 and I was rapidly gaining the weight and nothing that I did especially after I quit smoking, would make me lose the weight. I mean, I tried every diet out there, you name it, I tried it. Nothing worked. I, back in 2013 and 14, I did the whole beach body stuff with the Shakeology and the extreme workout programs and stuff like that, and I got no love. <laughs> I lost a whole 11 pounds in four weeks. Well, wait a minute, four weeks, four months. Um, and I just, I'm not, you know, a big fan of killing myself if I'm not getting to get anything out of it. Um, but as I said before, I think for me, being the fact that I was doing workouts, um, isn't really the problem. I don't have a problem with working out, but, um, P90X3 is not a regular workout program. P90X3 is... Um, pretty extreme if you've ever done any of the P90X um, and stuff like that. A lot of Beachbody's workouts are more um, um, on the hybrid side of things. They're not normal workouts, okay? Um, and there's some things that your body goes through when you you do that to your body. Like your cortisol goes up and when your cortisol goes up it can cause you to either gain weight or not to lose any weight because when you put yourself into the calorie de deficit to lose the weight um, and then you work out like that 
what happens is your body begins to retain fluid and as you re retain fluid um, it, it, it will reflect on the scale that either you're gaining or you're just not losing anything um, and I didn't know this at the time I wish I would have because it would have saved me a lot of upset you know from all that work that I was doing but um, I found out later from reading an article that Shalene Johnson put up on Facebook that a good way to know um, if your body is doing that is to like if you're extremely sore like if one day you did your workout and you went hard and you like crushed your workout and you killed it and you know everything but the next morning you wake up and you're really really sore from it that's a good sign that your body um, you're, you're sore from all that muscle breakdown that your body did and that you retain fluid to protect the muscles that were overworked that day if that makes any sense um, so if you're really really sore don't weigh yourself because you're gonna waste your time weighing yourself your body's not gonna show the actual weight that you are because of what you're going through what you put your body through all the stress and everything like that and I wish I would have known that because I never would have stepped on the scale that whole time <laughs> because I wasted my time you know what I'm saying um I, I wasted a lot of energy worrying about why my weight wasn't coming down and I followed the meal plan I followed the diet a lot a lot of people tell me well you're eating like crap I mean you can exercise all day but if you eat like crap your weight's not going to come down I'm like man you know I'm following the program I, I'm eating what I'm supposed to that's not it you know every diet that I've ever been on I have always followed it 100% and I've always given any diet or any meal program to help you lose weight my 100% always um, and you know I, I tried liquid amino diet um, I think I did that one last year and I lost 20 pounds and then started gaining the weight back you know what I'm saying so um, yeah it's it's I know that I got off task a little bit with it but you know like my whole point was where would I be without this surgery well you know I probably would still be big and by now I would probably be somewhere around 275 285 I was on blood pressure medication and my blood pressure was going up they were checking my blood levels like every three months to make sure that um, my blood levels were normal and checking my A1C, making sure that I wasn't developing diabetes. I mean, I was on the edge. So I probably would be somewhere between 275, 285, still on blood pressure medicine and probably by now diabetic and um, extremely unhappy and um, extremely tired and no energy. I didn't feel well. I did not feel well at all. Um, I don't know if you got to see my first two videos that I made. One was to introduce myself and to go over why I was having the surgery. And the other one was to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. And every time I go back and watch those, I feel like deleting them because I just seemed so out of it. And I seemed so tired and I just looked really bad. My face was all puffed out and everything like that. And they didn't get very many views because... It just seemed like I wasn't there. It, it just seemed like that I just... And, and you know, I really wasn't. I mean, I was there, but... <laughs> I kind of felt like I was on another planet, you know? Because I just... I didn't feel very well. So, yeah, that that is where I would be. You know, without the surgery, I wouldn't be sitting here uh, at the weight that I am. And I wouldn't... I just wouldn't be doing you know as as well as I am now um, I am off of blood pressure medication now my blood pressure has normalized itself on its own um, because I had to quit taking my blood pressure medication like a week after my surgery because it was making me feel really sick um, and everything like that and before that um, I had to bring it down to only half of a tablet I was on 20 milligrams and I only had to, I had to bring it down to half of a tablet, um, 
every day because it was making me feel tired. Well, the doctor said, well, take half of it a day. If it's still making you feel that way, stop it. So I, that's what I did. Um, so I have not been on blood pressure medication since about a week after my surgery and my blood pressure has went down on its own just from the weight loss. Um, one time, like about a month or two ago, I had it measured and it was um, 118 over 70. And this time when I saw the doctor last week, my primary care, it was 122 over 73. So considering the fact that um, that morning I had had something to eat and I had a cup of coffee, um, it probably would have been even lower than that. Because I don't know if you know this, but coffee does cause your blood pressure to go up when you drink it. Um, I forget why, but anyway, it's, I think it because it speeds up your heart rate and everything like that. And, and because it does that, it raises your blood pressure. Because coffee with the caffeine um, and everything like that is stimulant. So I think that's why. Um, anybody can, you know, correct me on that if I'm wrong, but I think that's why it raises your blood pressure. Um, I do still drink caffeinated coffee. I have or only drink one cup a day. Um, I have not had an issue with caffeine. I can drink tea. Um, I can drink the, you know, energy drinks and, and stuff like that, like, like the one that I'm referring to when I say energy drinks is Cellucor, their C4 sports drink. Um, I like it because of the electrolytes. Um, that it, it doesn't have any ill effects. I don't get any ill effects from caffeine. Um, but I do notice in the morning when I wake up and I have my first cup of coffee, or my only cup of coffee a day actually, um, it actually, I get, I, I actually get real effects from the caffeine. Like, I get an energy boost from it, <laughs> actually. Whereas before I didn't, and to get that same feeling, I would have to drink a whole gallon of coffee. I mean, I could go through like two pots of coffee a day. I, I mean, obviously I would not do that now. It would make me feel really, really sick. But, um, yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of coffee. So I'm really, really super happy that I can go from that to only needing one cup of coffee in the morning and that be it. I'm so happy with that. And they said that because your stomach is smaller, medications and coffee and all that stuff um, works on you a lot faster because it goes through your system faster. So, um, I keep saying that <clears throat> I'm going to do that diary, the fat girl. <clears throat> I am going to do it. I have just been so busy with everything. And um, even last night, I was planning on coming in with my update on my usual Thursday like I do. But the school called and my daughter got sent home from the cottages because she got really upset and some things happened um, and stuff like that. So it looks like that my youngest daughter may become a day student now. Like she may be coming home every day rather than stay at the cottages. <clears throat> and everything like that because she's really having an, an issue with being there and she's she's younger I mean she's only seven years old she'll be eight this July but you know it just seems like she's having a really tough time with staying in the cottage and things just got really out of hand last night so they sent her home so that's why I didn't come in here last night like I promised I would <laughs> um, you guys I feel really bad because I said you know that I was gonna make this video and I said I was gonna make that video and it never happened um, and so, you know, but life happens, stuff goes on, sometimes you can't control what's going on in your life, and everything like that, so, or, you know, I, I really apologize, but, you know, it is what it is, and I'm here now, um, like, uh, back to the diary, I really wanted to make that a separate video, I really wanted to sit down and do that because I, I think it's going to be long anyway so I didn't want to make it a part of my update so I'm gonna try to film it this weekend if I don't get it filmed this weekend then I will just 
go ahead and combine it with my weekly update this coming Thursday. I, I really apologize. I am going to start that diary in, like I said before, I think it's going to be in two segments. Um, so I'm going to have like a part one and a part two. Um, because I feel like it's going to take me a really long time to go through everything and explain it all. So, you know, it's really rough. Um, so yeah, um, that, that's really about all, you know, with, with the update. Um, everything went well for this month. Um, I really feel like I'm really happy with especially that week 11 five pound loss. That was amazing. Like I didn't even think that I was going to lose that kind of weight uh, <laughs> in one week. That's the most I've lost in one week since the first couple of weeks after my surgery. So that's pretty amazing. Um, and so, yeah, um, at the end here, you're going to see some video clips of some clothing try-ons that I did. One of them says that I was 202, <laughs> but that's because when I did that clip, I was 202. So, um, that, that is why it's going to say that, and you're going to get to see those clothes, uh, from when I first did my first body shot and I have a new phone now and for some reason even though I have that video in my drive like my Google Drive and all it won't let me attach it like every time I download it onto my iPhone it doesn't even show up in the list of available videos to add to another video um, and everything so what I'm gonna do is link that video below so that if you didn't get to see my first body shot that I did before my surgery that you can go watch that to get a comparison um but yeah it's it's, it's a huge huge difference I am a size 16 W currently and I was size 20 W to 22 in jeans before so I, I went down three sizes three sizes in, in pants and I am now fitting into um, some size large and a couple of size medium shirts from in my closet um, once I go through everything um, and stuff like that and I'm going through my closet here soon I will try to film like a clothing haul of things from my closet and I think I'm gonna name it um, go clothing shopping with me in my closet you know because I have a lot of smaller clothes and I literally don't need to buy any clothes um, unless I just want to but you know I'm probably not going to because um, excuse me as my weight goes down um, I mean I'm fitting into all those clothes and I'm kind of scared like I need to buy some more blue jean shorts now because I now don't have any blue jean shorts. I gave them to my older daughter. She's wearing them right now, um, that, which kind of worries me too because she's only 13 and a half and her weight is way beyond what it should be for her age. She's like 5'4", five, 5'5", five, five, and she's like 225, 230. It really scares me that she's able to wear a size 20W in a pair of shorts. Uh, that really bothers me. And so I, I've got to figure out some kind of way to get her. I apologize. I got a phone call and I was trying to make sure that I was actually recording. So every time you get a phone call, to cut your video off. Sorry. <laughs> but anyway, um, I was saying, you know, my daughter is like 13 and a half and um, 235, I mean, no, 225, 230 pounds, and, and at like 5'4", five, 5'5". Five, five. So her weight is a really, really huge issue right now, and I'm really scared. Um, I did try and get her a referral to see my surgeon, Dr. Steely, and her doctor said, well, she's too young for bariatric surgery. But, you know, <laughs> we're dealing with something that runs in the family, <clears throat> you know, and it's, she's got it from my side of the family, whatever's going on with us that causes weight problems. And also from her biological father's side of the family. I mean, everybody on his side of the family were 
extremely overweight. And his brother had a son who died at 19 years old because of a massive heart attack and because of his weight. I mean, he was pegging the scales at around 400 pounds. Um, and he wasn't much taller than Muriel. And so I'm really worried about her quality of life. So I will, you know, keep you guys updated on that. Please pray for my older daughter that I, that I can get her some help because we, we really need help with her weight really really concerned um so anyway that is really all that i had for this update i'm sorry that i don't really have much to update you on a full month um, of everything i just the best thing that i can tell you the thing that i can say i guess too would be part of where would i be without weight loss surgery um is that i'm really happy uh i feel normal like because, you know, before my surgery, I could go to a restaurant and eat, you know how big the portions are at a restaurant when you go out. I could sit and I could eat all of it. All of it. But then everybody else around me would only be able to finish a part to possibly half of what they had on their plate. But I could finish all mine. And I didn't feel normal because I'm sitting there and ate everything on my plate and everybody else is like, uh, I'm really stuffed. Can I get a takeout container? And I'm like, well, why can't I do that? And then I'm also really happy because I can sit and eat one protein bar and be pretty satisfied from it. Sometimes I'm actually pretty stuffed from eating one protein bar. And that makes me so happy because I mean, I've seen everybody else, or not everybody else, but I've seen other people do that. And be fine after eating one protein bar. Like, gosh, what's your problem? You're still eating? I'm stuffed. I can actually get filled up from a protein bar now. I know that sounds stupid and that's really trivial, but not for me because I've always been... A major overeater all my life. I've always had a huge problem with, you know, the amount of food I could eat. And I'm, I'm seeing the same thing in my daughter too, but I'm seeing it in her a little worse. Like it's to the point where she's sneaking food and stuff like that. Like she's going in the kitchen and sneaking, sneaking food out of the kitchen. And she's, I've even caught her a couple of times going and getting my protein bars and the things that I eat to help maintain myself. She's sneaking. And she's like, Yo, well, I'm hungry. What do you want me to do? I'm like, girl, <laughs> you just have four hot dogs and then three, three big servings of macaroni and cheese. And this was last Friday. Yeah, but anyway, um, I was I was really talking about me, but um, yeah, I'm really happy that I can. I feel like I'm able. Excuse me. I feel like I'm able to eat like a regular person now. <laughs> Not like this person that can just sit and eat and eat and eat and eat and eat and there's like no end to the eating, you know. <laughs> so I'm really, really happy. But anyway, um, that is all. And after this, you're going to see those uh, clips where I had tried on a couple of outfits. There's, again, stuff from out of my closet. I didn't buy it. So, I hope that you guys enjoy watching this video. I hope that you have a good weekend. And if I don't see you this weekend with the diary video, I will just include it in my Thursday weekly update. So, um, with that, again, enjoy your weekend. If you're new, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. It would help me a lot. Bye! I wanted to come in and show you this shirt and jeans that now fit me. These jeans are pretty close to those size 16 jeans that I had in my goals I wanted to fit into. Um, they're an 18, but they're low rise, so, <coughs> excuse me, um, they kind of fit tight um but they're actually not tight at this point and 
Um, I am now 202 pounds. And these fit very nicely. There's a lot of room in my legs. Like, you know, they're, they're comfortable. They're not skin tight. I tried them on a couple of weeks ago and they were still kind of tight around the waist. I do still have a muffin top, but that's always the last to go on me when I'm losing weight. <laughs> so there's the deal on that. Um, this jacket here, I bought this for a music video a few months ago when I was out of town. You know, I was in uh, Little Rock doing some work with my producers. I was going to use it for a music video, but I could not zip it. Like, it barely fit me. It's a size extra large. But, as you can see, since I get the zipper started, it's kind of stuck. As you can see, the zipper is not in the center. It's off to the side. And I did finally get the zipper to get started. It took me a minute. I apologize for some reason. It does it. And I have plenty of room. Um, it's a little bit tight around the shoulders, but that's the way it's made because it has this seam that comes down right there. Um, very nice little jacket. I found it on sale in um, North Little Rock, Arkansas at City Trims for $12. It's not real leather, but you know, it looks like one, one of those faux leather, leather jacket things. Anyway, um, yeah, it fits. <laughs> I'm real proud of the fact that these clothes now fit me. Um, you'll have to excuse me. I know I don't sound very excited, but um, I'm in my studio right now and I've been working diligently on setting everything up and I just had to move some things around. I'm pretty tired. And so I just thought that while I was up here that I would come do this real quick. I wanted to come in real quick and show you another pair of jeans that now fit me. These are a size 16W and um, they show my muffin top quite a bit but as I said before that's the last thing to go on me and as you can see if I grab it it's really really thick so there's just a lot of fat up there in that area and it'll go away once I lose more weight. Um, and this shirt is a size large and it's one of those shirt that makes like wings and as you can see like on the side it, it's not sewn all the way down um so i guess you could wear it with some tank top or something underneath of it if you didn't want to wear it like this but i just wear it like that you know i don't care um so it's a side view and back side and then front um you know so yeah I was going through my closet um, last night and I noticed that there's a lot of tops in there that are both size medium and size large that are beginning to fit me some of them still show this up here more so so if i wore it now i would have to wear some kind of a cincher or something to help hide this but other than that though they do fit um within the next couple of weeks i'll try to come in here with some kind of clothing haul so you can see some of my smaller clothes and i'll actually take you into my closet and and show you everything too because i have a huge closet full of clothes that 
didn't fit me as I put more weight back on um, and everything like that. So most of the clothes that I have in my closet already will just be smaller clothes that I can wear after I've lost the weight, which is a plus because that means I don't really have to spend extra money on any more clothes unless I just want to. So but pretty soon I'm going to have to start going through and finding things that are too big for me and kind of getting rid of some of it because some of it already is way too big. I gave five pairs of my designer jean shorts to my older daughter. They're size 20 and 22. She was able to wear them. I'm, I'm kind of concerned about that, but I mean, she, she was able to wear them. So whenever, you know, she ever loses weight or anything like that and gets to where they don't fit her, then I'll give them away that. Um, and I do have one more pair of blue jean shorts that she's going to get also, but I'm going to use those for my body shot you're going to see up next. Do you remember my first update where I did the body shot before my surgery? Um, I'll try to link that video to this video if I can. Um, I think I tried that one other time and it didn't work. So if I can't do that, I'll put the link down in the description so you can go watch that. But this is the outfit that I had on the day that I did that body shot. The shirt is from Fabletics and as you can see, it's a size 2X. And as you can see, it's starting to become too big up under the arms right there. And it's pretty loose, whereas before, I used to fill this shirt out in every way that it could possibly be filled out. And then the back is loose. Um, but Fabletics tends to make their clothes really undersized. So... Even though this shirt's a size 2X, it's actually starting to fit more like it's supposed to instead of be so tight. Um, I'll put a link down in the description for that in case you're interested in checking their clothes out. You're going to want to buy, like if you think you're size large, you're going to want to get like an extra large or a 2X and look at the fit description um, to see if it says it's fitted or if it's a normal fit. Or relaxed or whatnot because that's gonna depend on what size you're gonna get because I have a size 2x in a lot of their leggings and they are still very very tight on me so they're they're very undersized um, not true to size at all so um, these are the shorts I had on that day when I did my body shot and they are size 22 and if I just pull them out like look how much room there is in these shorts. Um, even if I had a belt on, they wouldn't fit. I mean, <laughs> they're really, really loose. Uh, and there's like the, the front view of these shorts and the back. They're just really, really huge. Um, like there's no way anymore that I could possibly wear these. Um, they're just falling off on me. So, the legs I used to fill out these legs the legs are really 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 big like I don't know if you can see I'll turn sideways and pull maybe you can see that way but they're they're really really huge and and they're already falling <laughs> um, they're this these are gonna go to my daughter so this is my first body shot clothes that I had on it probably the next time I do a body shot, I'm not going to do it with these shorts because they already don't fit me. Like right now, my shirt is pulled down over top of them, and that's the only thing that's helping keep them on. 